So we're done with immigration. Now we're walking towards our belt to get our bags. So we are officially here in Hong Kong, guys. Waiting for my luggage to come out. They got my bag, so we're good to go. It's time to claim our octopus card that we booked to Kluk. Paglabas sa paglabas nyo ng immigration and customs, dito makikita nyo agad tong OBS. So, dyan namin kinuha yung octopus card. So, very very easy to spot. Pinakita ko lang yung QR code na nakasave sa um, phone wallet ko. And then, binigay na siya agad. So, it's preloaded with 50 HKD. So, there you go. Octopus card is secured. We got our SIM and our money exchange here at Global Exchange. We're going to the bus station going to the city na. Pasakay tayo ng bus. So, sundin nyo lang yung mga sign. And it should lead you here. Ayan. So, hanapin natin yung A21 bus. Ang laki nitong airport ng Hong Kong, guys. But, ang daming sign is just in English. So, it wouldn't be hard for you to find kung saan yung sakay ng bus, sakay ng train. Ayan. So, I can already see yung bus terminal. Ayan, guys. Pagdating nyo dito sa terminal, merong signages. So, makikita nyo dyan yung mga ruta ng bus stops. And we are going to stay at Chim Cha Chui. So, 821. It's yellow zone. And if you look here, merong mga color coding. We are at 821. And look for city flyer na buses, guys. Kasi, yung dapat yung sasakyan natin. Going to Chim Cha Chui. So, medyo mahaba yung pila. And waiting tayo ng bus natin. So you can use your octopus card to pay here naman. Here's our bus. It's a double-decker bus. So I'm excited to try it for the first time. Thank 
Hey guys, so we've already checked in, rested a bit, and now we're headed to Chungking Mansions to get our peso exchange for Hong Kong dollars. Mas maganda daw yung rate dun. So let's see. But after that, we will be having our very late lunch. I forgot how much we bought our Hong Kong dollars sa airport. Pero magaganda yung rates dito sa Chungking Mansions. So far, the highest that we have is 0 0.137. Just to show you more of the conversion, this is how it went. Done here at Chunking Mansions. Now we're off to find a place to eat. We came here sa the ice cream bar to check if there is something to eat. But the looks of it looks shops lang siya. So let's see. Mukhang walang kainan dito, so let's just go down and look for a place to eat. Wala pa kaming kinakain and since we landed, so this better be good. Very late lunch spread. We have uh, marinated goose, plain chicken, tapos meron kaming rice. We're just waiting for our shrimp dumpling. Should be out in a minute. Let's eat. This is my first time to try goose. Here it is. This is the goose. Mm -hmm. The taste is very Chinese. <laughs> Guys, we paid $168 for crab and shrimp dump. <laughs> then it comes with itong sauce. Mm. It's good. I'm not sure if it's $168 Hong Kong dollar. Good. It's good. We're trying this soft ice cream for 13 Hong Kong dollars. I saw this in one of the vlogs that I watched. And okay, do you guys? Let's try it before we head to the peak. I know who's been to Hong Kong. I've been raving about BLT, so try not again. Trying the famous BLT from Hong Kong. Ice tea, siya, pero it's not healthy. It says here anyway that it's low sugar, so maybe that's why. BLT, done. We're inside the MTR on our way to the peak. Ang bibilis ng escalators dito, naluloka ako. So yun 
hinahanap lang namin ngayon dito yung exit J2 because that's the nearest one going to the peak. Lakad lakad lang tayo. It's really important that you guys invest into a comfortable pair of shoes kapag nandito kayo sa Hong Kong. Because you're gonna be doing a lot of walking. Ang lalayo ng distance, I just noticed from the airport alone, and then dito sa MTR, malayo yung mga distance ng bagay-bagay. And lagi sa lang nagmamadali. Guys, from doon sa babaan ng train, yung exit J nasa dulo. Huwag kayong malilito kasi yung K or JKL na exit hindi magkakasunod. Basta yung exit J, dulo siya. Ayan guys, yung exit J. Guys, ito yung bubungad sa inyo paglabas nyo ng exit J2. So, it's literally a garden. May garden in between this large skyscrapers. <laughs> Tatawid ulit tayo dito. Tapos, I believe, dyan na yung pa um, picture. Malalakarin na lang natin. Just walk uphill, guys. Pagtawid nyo. And, ayun! Medyo may lakarang involved lang dito papunta sa the big truck. Pag nakita nyo na yung parang bato na yan, yung malaking bato, that's the one. Magsuot ng tamang footwear. Nakikita nyo ba yung bato na yun? Nandun na yung the big tram. Kaya maraming tao. Yan yung landmark ninyo para mahanap nyo siya. Whew, hinihingal pa rin ako. Isang tawid na lang doon na tayo guys. Ayun lang maraming tao. So, I guess medyo pipila tayo ng konti. Pasok na tayo sa loob guys. Madaming tao pero mabilis naman yung gano'n. So, while waiting, mayroong paganda dito inside the peak crown. Second batch na tayo. Oh, ang saya! Kami, may nakita kami yung shops ng magnet and we like collecting ref magnets. So, we're gonna be getting five. Uh, five for one hundred dollars. Hindi ko alam kung good deal ba yun, pero I love, 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 love buying ref magnets from other countries. So, nakabili kami ng limang ref magnet and now we're on our way up to Sky Terrace 428. And since magaling weather, I think open naman yung observatory. Tindan niyo yung view pa lang dito sa pag-iakot pa lang na escalator. Kita-kita niyo na yung skyscrapers na mga. Ang lamig guys. Nagkita kami sa isang side nitong Sky Terrace for 2 Pero hindi pa yata ito yung pinakatuktok. But I'll show you. Magagabi na, so medyo madilim na pa. Yung view, ang ganda pa din. Ang ganda. We're finally at Sky Terrace 4 to 8. It's a bit overcast today. And pag naman na, to be fair. So, 
hindi natin talaga kitang kita fully. Ang ay na kasin, hindi siya ganun ka clear. But the view is still so pretty. If you get the chance and my extra budget to get to Sky Terrace for to eat, I think worth it naman siya. I personally like going to mga observatory whenever I'm outside of the country just to get a feel of the city. And I hindi ako nikamali, maganda doon kay Hong Kong din. Pagbaba na tayo guys from the peak. Pakita ko sa inyo guys yung binili namin mga rack magnets. 5400 HKD. Ito, ito yung iconic na ice cream truck na makita natin. And then, try natin kanina. So, makita na kami. Bumili kami. And then, of course, yung iconic na um, Symphony of Lights ng Hong Kong. Tapos, tram and bus with the stations. Cute, cute. Ito, hindi ko alam kung ba't ba namin ito pinili. Mas marami pa namang maganda. Pero, okay na rin. Cute. So, yan. Okay na yung ref magnet. Yung ref magnet na lang ng Macau, yung bibili natin. Nakin super purple. Sound is really very honky. <laughs> 